Can you can do better than that to give a big hand? And do not forget that this Friday night we are going to have an evangelistic event at Majesty Restaurant. Uh, so would you please just uh, sponsor or support or let us know how many people that you are going to invite them to come. And Vision TV is every day. So if Vision TV is here from every day from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. So would you please just come and partner together and we're going to open for the Spanish program, Mandarin program, Vietnamese program and other program as well. So once again, thank you so much. Would you please just go ahead. Uh, the song we are going to sing is called Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hope you enjoy it. Yeah. I heard there was a secret chord that David played in a please of love. But you don't really care for music, do ya? Well, goals like these are for the fifth, the money fall and the major leaves, the powerful king composing. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Shoot somebody who out you young. It's not someone that I see the light. It's not a cry that I see the light. It's a cold. Afternoon. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. I'm very happy to be here. God bless you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me hear somebody say Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm Pastor Stephen. Stephen. And I'm coming from Africa. The country is called Uganda. Uh, I'm, I'm leading a church in Uganda. And the children you have been seeing singing are my children. Oh. It is our first time to be here. But we preach in so many other places of the places of the world. Amen. Amen. So, so because of time, we're going to share the word of God. And those of you that are watching, your life will never be the same again. Don't leave before the program ends. Because I'm going to pray for you. Amen. Amen. We are reading in Isaiah. Uh, Tom Chapter 26. Tom And verse number 16. The, the, the Bible says in Isaiah 26, 
Và trong Esai 26, 16 It says Lord in trouble they have visited you They have poured out a prayer when your chastening was upon them as a woman with a child. Is it pain cries out in pangs when she draws near the time for her delivery? So have we been in your sight, O Lord? We have been with a child, we have been in pain. We have, as it were, brought forth wind. We have not accomplished any deliverance in the earth, nor have the inhabitants of the world fallen. Amen. Amen. I want to read another scripture. You're reading, my brother? Yeah. Là Chúa trong lúc gian truân họ đã tìm kiếm ngài giữa lúc bị ngài sự rút phạt họ đã họ đã thì thào cầu khẩn giống như người đàn bà gần đến giờ sinh nở nàng quằn quại khóc la theo từng đợt cơn đau. Là Chúa chúng con ở trước mặt ngài cũng như vậy. Amen. Amen. Uh, when you look at this verse, ở trong câu này quý vị trong câu này. Uh, before I explain, if you're there, just say, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Uh, quý vị nói là thưa Chúa, uh, I receive your word today. Tôi kính nhận Chúa trong. And my life will never be the same again. Và đời sống tôi không sẽ không có thay đổi sẽ. In the name of Jesus. Tôi nhận Chúa Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now in Isaiah 26:16, the Bible says that there was a group of people who visited the Lord because of the pain they were facing. I'm sharing about how you can come out of crisis. Anybody can be in crisis in any way. Some of us who are here and those who are watching on on television. Và một số quý vị có mặt ở đây cũng như quý vị đang theo dõi trong chương trình TV. There is a situation that you are facing in your life. Và có những cái trường hợp những cái hoàn cảnh mà chúng ta đang đứng đối đầu với hiện giờ. There is a challenge in your family. Trong những sự thử thách trong gia đình của mình. There is a challenge in your finances or in areas of your life. Và những sự thử thách trong vấn đề tài chính hoặc là bất cứ cái phương diện nào khác. How do you come out of a situation? Làm thế nào chúng ta có thể thoát khỏi được cái hoàn cảnh đó? How do you come out of that crisis? Làm thế nào chúng ta ra khỏi được cái sự cơn khủng hoảng đó? That is what I'm sharing about. Đó là điều mà chúng tôi muốn chia sẻ với quý vị buổi chiều hôm nay. The group of people that came to Jesus. Một số người đến với Chúa. Or visited the Lord. Or hoặc là đến với Chúa. Verse 16 says, Lord, in trouble, they have visited you. Và trong câu 16 nói là Chúa ơi, những người gian, gian trương họ đã tìm kiếm Ngài. They have poured a prayer. Họ đến đức tương sự người cầu nguyện. When your chastening was upon them. Khi mà tin tưởng ở nơi Chúa. As a woman with a child. Và khi mà người đàn bà sinh sang. In the book of Mark chapter 8. Trong Mark đoạn 8. Mark chapter 8. Trong Mark đoạn 8. The Bible says from verse 1. Trong câu 1. In those days. Trong những ngày đó. The multitude being very great and having nothing to eat. Và trong ngày đó thì có những cơ quan nào mà không có điều gì. Jesus called his disciples to him and said to them. Và Chúa nói với họ rằng, I have compassion on the multitude. Tôi có sự thương xót đối với đồng dân này. Because they have now continued with me three days. Vì ba ngày rồi họ đã theo ta mà không có gì để ăn. And have nothing to eat. Và không có gì có gì để ăn. Now listen to me, everybody. This is a common story in the Bible. Đây là những câu chuyện trong kinh thánh. Jesus was moving with the people in the wilderness. Và Chúa đi với những đồng dân đông trong cái đồng vắng. A wilderness is a dry place. Trong đồng vắng là một nơi khô cằn. A wilderness is a place without food. Và cái nơi mà sung mãn thì có những thức ăn. And the people were following Jesus. Và những người theo Chúa. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me everybody. Jesus in the wilderness with the disciples and many people are following Jesus. Number one, Jesus saw the people and he had compassion on them because they were following him. When you decide to follow Jesus, it doesn't matter what you're going through. Và họ không biết gì họ đang xảy ra. The Lord will see you through. Nhưng mà Chúa sẽ đưa chúng ta qua. The Lord will deliver you. Nhưng mà Chúa sẽ đưa chúng ta ra khỏi. Nobody that walks with the Lord. 
Không phải chúng ta đừng đi với Ngài. Nobody that works with the Lord. Không phải đi với Ngài. And is disappointed. Nếu như là đi với Chúa có nhiều thất bại. You cannot walk with the Lord and stay the same. Và khi mà đi với Chúa chúng ta cũng thể nhận cùng một người giống như vậy được nữa. Many people are following Jesus. Có nhiều người theo Chúa. So many people are following Jesus. Có nhiều người theo theo Chúa. But when he saw them. Và khi mà Chúa thấy họ, for three days, rồi, he had compassion on them. Họ có cái lòng, yeah. Chúa có lòng thương xót. He had compassion on them. Họ, Chúa có lòng thương xót. When you walk with the Lord, khi mà chúng ta đi với Chúa, he sees what you're going through. Và Chúa biết rằng chúng ta qua trải qua những he knows what you're facing. Những gì chúng ta đứng đầu. He knows the sickness in your body. Họ, Chúa thấy những sự đau đớn trong thân thể của mình. He knows the financial crisis you're facing. Họ, Chúa thấy là những cái sự cơ khủng hoảng tình trạng của gia đình chúng ta. He sees the problems you have in your relationships. Họ thấy những cái sự những cái sự bất hòa trong gia đình. He knows what you're going through. Chúa biết những gì mà chúng ta đang trải qua. And because you're moving with him, chính vì chúng ta đi theo Chúa, he will not forsake you. Chúa sẽ từ bỏ chúng ta. He will assist you. Chúa sẽ giúp đỡ chúng ta. He will set you free. Chúa sẽ đưa chúng ta đến sự giúp đỡ. He will deliver you. Chúa sẽ giải phóng chúng ta. I want to encourage somebody here. Tôi muốn nói chúng quý vị người ta. Our Lord Jesus Christ is so compassionate. Và Chúa chúng ta rất là người rất là thương xót. Our Lord is so merciful. Và Chúa rất là thương ngại thương xót những người. He cannot forsake those who follow him. Chúa không thể từ bỏ những người mà đã chú đi theo ngài. Somebody who is watching me on TV. Đốt quý vị đang nhìn tôi. God will not forsake you. Chúa sống Chúa sẽ từ từ bỏ. God loves you. Chúa yêu thương quý vị. That situation is going to come to an end. Và cái hoàn cảnh đó sẽ. He's going to heal you. Chúa sẽ. He's going to deliver you. Chúa sẽ giải phóng. He's going to set you free. Chúa sẽ đưa chúng ta đến. And your life will never be the same again. Và cái đời sống chúng ta sẽ không như cũ nữa. Somebody say Amen. Amen. The Bible says. When they were following Jesus, and Jesus had compassion on them, he spoke to the disciples and said, "I have compassion on the people, for they have been walking with me for three days. They have been with me for three days in the wilderness. God knows the time you've spent with Him. He knows the days you've gone through His presence. He knows how you've been working with him. My brother, my sister watching me on TV. The Lord knows the time you pray. The time you seek his face. The time you pray unto him. And today he's going to set you free. Today he's going to set you free. Let me hear somebody say amen. Now after the compassion of Jesus, the Bible says the disciples came to Jesus. And Jesus wanted to give them food because they were hungry. But the disciples came to him and said, How can we get food that can feed thousands of people? How can we feed thousands of people? What do we learn from this? Whenever we face a challenge in life, we have to go to Jesus. Tell him about your situation. Tell him about your trouble. It doesn't matter how big your problem is. It doesn't matter how big your situation is. Tell him your situation. Tell him about your sick mother. Tell him about your sick father. Tell him about the confusion in your family. The disciples told Jesus. They said, Lord. Where can we get food to feed all these people? They knew one thing. Whatever is impossible to man is possible with God. In the book of Genesis 18, 14. Genesis 18, 14. God spoke to Abraham and said, With God, nothing is hard. God can do everything. In the book of Jeremiah 32. And verse 17. The Bible says. That God created the heavens and the earth. Is there anything too hard for me? There's nothing too hard with God. Jeremiah 32. 27. God says, I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard? My friends on TV, 
There is nothing too hard with God. He's going to touch your life. He's going to set you free. My brothers who are here today, your life will never be the same again. I have seen miracles wherever I've been going. Jesus is going to set you free. Jesus is going to set you free. He has all the power to set you free. He's the healer. He's our deliverer. He's our provider. Jesus said all power in heaven and earth has been given to me. The power belongs to Jesus. The power belongs to Jesus. Somebody say amen. And the Bible says the people in the wilderness and the disciples Jesus told them you give them bread. And they said where can we find bread? Whatever is impossible to man is possible with God. Whatever is impossible to us it is possible with God. That is my Mark chapter 10 and verse number 27. I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, God can do everything. There is nothing to hide with God. You are going to live longer. You are going to get all the money that you need in Jesus' name. Somebody say hallelujah. And, and, and the disciples spoke to Jesus. We have five loaves of bread and two fish. It cannot feed the whole multitude. Listen to me, my friends. Look at me and listen to this. Whatever is not enough in your hands, when you give it to God he will multiply it our God can multiply your blessing whatever looks small God will multiply it amen whatever is very small to you or impossible to you you give it to the Lord put your situation before the Lord tell Jesus your situation tell the Lord what you are going through and God will set you free God will deliver you somebody say amen I was in a certain place and they brought somebody who was suffering from cancer cancer on the spine and this person could not walk she was a lady I was preaching and they brought the sick person on the wheelchair on a, on a stretcher and this lady was on a, was on, a, on, on oxygen the whole body was wired with wires and she had two doctors who came with her for prayers the relatives were there and I told them Jesus can do everything Jesus can heal and the sister of this sister said but they have said my, my, my sister is going to spend only five months to die and I say those are people what does God say amen, amen. doctors can say anything they can predict anything but there is a God who is so powerful he raises the dead he heals the sick so I laid my hands on this woman and I prayed for her and God set her free today she's still alive today she's still alive those are so many years ago they say she's going to die within 5 months within 5 months but today she received her healing we serve a God who performs miracles yeah. our God performs miracles yeah. I want to declare today that Jesus is the same yesterday today and forever yeah. the miracles performed yesterday he still performs them today and even tomorrow his power is still here somebody say amen Amen. And Jesus got the bread and the fish. And he raised the basket up. He began to give thanks. 
He gave thanks. In case of any situation that you are facing in life, learn how to give thanks to God. The Bible says in First Thessalonians, chapter five and verse eighteen. In all things, give thanks to God. In all things, give thanks to God. There is power in thanksgiving. There is power in thanksgiving. If you are sick, thank Him because you've been alive for a very long time. When you thank Him and appreciate Him, He's going to give you a longer life. When Jesus gave thanks for the bread and gave it back to the disciples, it was multiplied. Thanksgiving brings multiplication. Thank God, my brother, my sister on TV. There is a God who performs miracles. He has been faithful in your time. He has been faithful in your life. Your life will never be the same again. Hallelujah. Just give him thanks. Yeah. You are going to be set free. We serve a miracle working God. And the Bible says the disciples broke the bread and they began to give to the people. I want to use that word breaking. He made them. He made them to sit down. Listen to this. Jesus made the people to sit down. Who were in the wilderness? He told the disciples, "Sit. Make them sit down." If you want to see miracles of God, sit in His presence. Sit in His presence. Just stay in His presence and cry unto Him. There is power in the presence of the Lord. Somebody say, "Amen." Amen. I didn't hear you say, "Amen." Amen. In the presence of God, there is fullness of joy. Just set your love before the Lord. Jesus is going to set you free. Yeah. Everything that has a beginning has an end. That situation has a beginning. It is ending today in the name of Jesus Christ. There is somebody watching me. There is somebody watching me. The Spirit of the Lord is telling me you are going through a terrible situation but God is setting you free today. You receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Yes, God is healing somebody today in the name of Jesus. There is somebody you are crying, you have a sick person in the house. You are watching me on TV and that person is in your bedroom but the Holy Spirit is healing that person right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive and believe God for a miracle. Ladies and gentlemen, we serve a God that performs miracles. Let me hear somebody say amen. With God, nothing is impossible. The God who served the people in the wilderness, He can perform a miracle in any way, in any way, in any way. You're going to see a miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. The Bible says, Jesus was proved to be a son of God because of miracles. In Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, as I'm finishing, Acts of Apostles chapter 2 and verse number 22 the Bible says men of Israel hear these words Jesus of Nazareth a man attested by God to you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did through him in your midst as you yourselves also know. Yeah. Jesus performed wonders, miracles and signs. He was attested by God by miracles. Wonders and signs. He was proved to people. Everybody believed that Jesus is the son of God because of the miracles he performed. 
to the people to uh, according to time. But I want to tell somebody here that Jesus is even here today. But to and his power Jesus is here today. My brother on TV, my sister on TV, Jesus is here where he was, there where he was now. And you're going to receive your miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. I have seen miracles happen, and we are going to pray. That crisis that you're going through, that you're facing, that crisis will leave your life completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. I have spoken the word to people and people have seen miracles. We see some God who is alive. Jesus is still alive. Somebody say amen. So out of that crisis that you are facing, tell God your situation. Surrender unto the Lord. Sit in his presence all the time. The situation will change. The situation will change. Somebody say, Amen. 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 The situation completely changed. I want to pray for somebody. Yeah. Somebody say amen. 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 We are going to believe God to come out of our crisis. We are going to pray to God to change our situation. We serve a God who performs miracles. And the Holy Spirit is here to perform miracles. Somebody say amen. amen. As I'm finishing, there's what we call the power of God. The power of the Holy Spirit. Jesus told the disciples when he was going to heaven, he said, don't leave the city of Jerusalem until you receive the power from on high. This power is not the power from food. It is the power of the Holy Spirit. It is the power that makes the lamb to walk. It is the power that opens the blind eyes. Yeah. It is the power that opens doors. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is yet to perform miracles also. As we surrender to God, as we repent before the Lord, as we cry unto Him, yeah. the Holy Spirit will come and change our situation. My somebody listened to me on TV. As you cry out to God today, the power of the Spirit of God will come upon you. And we will set you free in the name of Jesus. You will be delivered completely. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. Why don't you lift up your hands where you are? Lift up your hands where you are. And tell God what you want. Tell God what you want. He's going to heal you right now. Somebody lift up your voice and tell God your situation. I thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Because your people are here listening to your God. Let your power set them free in the name of Jesus. We command all the powers of darkness to be broken right now. Lord Jesus, set your people free today in Jesus' name. We know that your power is here today. You are the Lord, our healer. You are the Lord our provider. You are the God that changes situations. Lord, set your people free today in the name of Jesus. Let your people be delivered, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. There's somebody who's sick in your body right now. The sickness is leaving you now. Be free and be healed in Jesus' name. Somebody has chest pain. There is somebody here you have chest pain. But the Lord is healing you right now in Jesus' name. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Somebody with a terrible crisis in your family. You have misunderstandings in your relationships. The Lord is healing you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is healing somebody with cancer. I rebuke that cancer right now. Loose and get out of her blood right now in the name of Jesus. 
I command every sickness to leave your body now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus is still alive right now. Somebody on TV, receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Be free and be healed in Jesus' name. The Lord is touching you right now with his power. The power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. Receive your touch in Jesus' name. The Holy Ghost is changing your situation. Somebody has a back pain right now. But the Lord is healing you right now. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I pray for a financial miracle. Those who need money receive a financial miracle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God is paying your bills. He's giving you money right now. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus and give him praise. Hallelujah. Amen.